With a little variation from the classic vanilla custard sauce, there is so much to love about this simple eggless vegan version. It is rich, creamy and delightful, and livened by the delicate aroma of rose water. A good dollop of this crème anglaise, as it is also known in French, will add a touch of coziness or glamour even to your desserts. We'll be using this sauce in a few of our future recipes, so we thought of featuring it separately so that we can refer back to this video when need be. Start by mixing the cornstarch with a little of the non-dairy milk in a small jug. I'm using soy milk today, but coconut or almond milk will also work. Stir and mix well. A pinch of turmeric is just enough to add a golden hue to the sauce. You won't taste the turmeric at all. Do not add too much though as the color will intensify with the heat. Keep this mixture aside for now. In a saucepan, pour the rest of the milk. Add the maple syrup or other sweetener of choice to taste. Add in the cornstarch and milk mixture. Stir and mix well. Turn the heat on low medium. Continuously stir to avoid the cornstarch from making lumps. The process is fairly simple, however, the sauce requires constant stirring on low medium heat to avoid lumps. Patience is key to making good custard sauce. As the mixture heats up, it will start to thicken. Keep stirring until you reach a rich, smooth sauce. Add the rose water and continue to simmer while stirring for a few more minutes. You can find rose water at a lot of major grocery stores nowadays, or you can also check in Asian or Indian stores. Rose water adds in a lovely floral note, but you can substitute with the vanilla bean or vanilla extract if you wish. If you want a thicker sauce at this stage, dilute a little more cornstarch in some cold water first, then add it into the sauce while stirring constantly. Never add cornstarch powder directly into the hot sauce, it will instantly turn into lumps. Do not allow this mixture to boil. The sauce is ready when it nicely coats the spoon while still being of a pouring consistency. Remove from the heat and pour into a pitcher. There are so many ways to serve this sauce, warm or chilled. Like you've seen in some of our previous videos, this sauce is wonderful poured over pancakes and crepes, like these buckwheat crepes with peach filling. We also enjoy this custard over thick slices of cake, something I've come to grow fond of while living in the UK, where pudding, which denotes dessert in Britain, are almost always savoured with lashings of custard sauce. In any case, this sauce is very versatile and you can simply serve it on its own or over fruits for a quick dessert. As usual, you can find the printable version of this recipe along with a few tips and flavour variations on our website. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more recipes. If you do make this recipe, send us a picture and hashtag us on social media. We'd love to see what you're making. Also, join our mailing list so you never miss anything. We'll send you an email when we have a new recipe or an announcement. We have a lot more goodies coming up soon, so stay tuned. Until next time, bye!